And in the blink of an eye, one man's best friend is gone tonight. He is searching for his dog, taken when his truck was stolen. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Carlos. As the search for the dog continues, we are also getting a clear look at the suspect in this case. News Channel 5's Nick Foley is live at Warner and Dorver in Cleveland. And Nick, what's happening there? Thank you, Tracy. You know, police have looked into this intersection as well as animal control. As they received a tip earlier this evening, they're following up on that tip and they're continuing to look in this intersection as they look for that missing dog named Hooch. That dog, of course, taken several days ago when its owner's truck was stolen by thieves from a busy Brooklyn Heights shop. Now, tonight, investigators are working several big breaks in the case. Hooch, come! Matt Zalaki calls out to his dog Hooch, missing since Friday as friends put up posters urging anyone with information to call. He's probably scared. He's been on the road two days now, if that is Hooch. Um, so he's scared, he's hungry, he's searching for me, he doesn't know where to go. Hooch was in the back of Zalaki's truck when it was stolen from the parking lot of Action Doors in Brooklyn Heights. The truck was located later that night near the Garfield Heights Cleveland border, but Hooch was nowhere to be found. It's a family member, it's, it's, a, it's my best friend, he's a brother. You know, so I keep on saying it's like a brother. So I need to find him. Sergeant Vince Ewelt of the Brooklyn Heights Police Department has been working to find Hooch and the suspect, described as wearing a Cincinnati Reds jacket and hat. In fact, surveillance video at a nearby Walmart shows the suspect leaving after trying to use one of Zalaki's credit cards. We've got a couple different leads on the dog and uh, that were credible tips, and we're pretty confident. We've got a lot of guys working on it in different cities. Cleveland's assisting animal control. We're pretty confident we're going to come out ahead on this one. Ewelt says a man with the same description was pursued on foot by the Brook Park Police Department that same night. And while officers didn't make an arrest, they recovered a Reds jacket and hat. All positive leads for Zalaki, who is praying this story ends with the best case scenario. Hooch! I hope it does. I hope it does. You know, that's all I can say. Now, Sergeant Ewald adds that, that jacket and hat have been taken to forensics as they hope to get some prints and possibly some DNA from that suspect. As for Hooch, well, these flyers are all over the Garfield Heights and Brooklyn Heights areas with information that people can call if they know anything or might have seen Hooch in the last several days or asked to call the information on this flyer or the Brooklyn Heights Police Department, which we have information for on our Newsnet 5 website as well. Reporting from Cleveland, Nick Foley, News Channel 5.